steak. Come on, give me a break. But can he grill a mango? He does the grill a mango tango. Grill up some. Hola, como esta? Muy bien. Make normally ask Grill Dog. That's right. And you're watching Grill Dog Presents. Another episode, that's right, where we dog the inaccuracies of those other cooking shows. You know the ones? They're pompous and pretentious. Or they try to tell you how to cook in a short period of time and show up with everything pre measured, pre arranged, pre proportioned, and a lot of other things to start with the word pre. Now, on today's episode, Grill Pup and I have just gotten back from a trip to Mazatlan, Mexico, where we had a lot of fun, we ate a lot of food, and we made a lot of new friends. Hey, that's what we're all about food, fun, and friends. I also got a chance to tour the Blue Agave Factory. And that's where they make tequila. So today's episode is going to be all about tequila. Hi, I'm Grill Dog. And you're watching another exciting episode of Grill Dog Presents. Recently, I found myself literally hanging around some blue agave plants and factory in Mazatlan, Mexico. And we thought that'd be a great way to kick off today's show featuring cooking with tequila. That's right. And remember, tequila isn't from a cactus. It's from the blue agave plant, which is actually closer to a lily. So sit back, relax, and we're going to show you a marinade for lamb kebabs, a nice sauce with tequila for potatoes, and then a tequila-based salsa. And then G-Man's gonna come and visit us and show us a special recipe. So sit back and hang on tight for another great episode of Grill Dog Presents. <laughs> okay, for our very first tequila recipe, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do marinated lamb kebabs in a tequila sauce. So if I can have Grill Pup's mom pass me over the lamb cube. Thank you, Grill Pup's mom. Okay, so what we have is we have some lamb kebabs. There you go. Thank you. Lamb kebabs that we've got marinated for two nights in our tequila sauce. So what we're going to do is we're just going to open these up. I have a knife right here. Three tablespoons of tequila. Two tablespoons sesame oil. One tablespoon balsamic vinegar. One tablespoon Dijon mustard. Three tablespoons minced garlic. Okay, I lied. I like garlic. There's four tablespoons in there. And two tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds. One tablespoon of freshly squeezed Mexican lime juice. Two tablespoons of chopped cilantro. One teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. And one teaspoon of sea salt. But you can use any kind of salt. Alright, then we all just put it right in the bowl. Lemon juice. Tequila. Sesame oil, balsamic vinegar, garlic, mustard, and sesame seeds, cilantro, pepper, and salt. Then we're just going to stir that up, and then we're going to put our lamb cubes in there. Okay, this recipe can go for fish, chicken, beef, pork, but we've got lamb. And the recipe I use requires two pounds to three pounds of meat. This is four pounds of meat, so I actually double the recipe. And they're just cubed lamb. That's looking quite nice. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna open these up. I have a knife right here. I'll just open those up. Oh, they're smelling really good. And then if I can have that bowl back, thank you. I probably should have just kept the bowl. We're going to dump our marinated lamb kebabs in our bowl. Oh, you can smell that tequila sauce. It's really smelling good. Okay, Grill Pup's mom, thank you very much. And now, Grill Pup's mom, can I have the skewers? Okay, thank you very much, Grill Pup mom. Okay, what we do is we have our skewers been soaking in water for at least 20 minutes. That way they don't burn when we put them on the grill. I like to use bamboo skewers because they don't conduct the heat and they're actually a lot thinner so they don't lose as many juices. Let's get a close-up shot of this marinated lamb kebabs with our patented grilled dog zooming technique. Now they're looking really nice. Let's take a closer look at one. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look yummy? And now all we have to do is skewer these 
and they're looking really good. And what we want to do is we don't want to push them down right next to each other. We want to leave a little bit of space between them. And what we're going to do is we're going to put one more, and we'll show you this on the patented grill dog zooming technique. Now they're looking quite nice. Now that's an auspicious looking display of lamb kebabs. And you could use beef or chicken or fish or anything with this marinade and it'll turn out quite nice. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put these on our grill, indirect cooking, you know, and what we're gonna do is just set the kebabs in here. Oh, uh, can you hear them sizzle? That's the lamb cubes telling us how happy they are. They're on Grill Dogs Grill for the Grill Pack friends. And we're just going to let these sit on here for like 45 minutes with the lid closed, and then we're going to check on them. Okay, now while these are cooking, we're going to go ahead and make our tequila-based salsa. That's going to be quite nice. <laughs> 